my channel so today we will see another one role play how to present it uh, so here we can see this is um, accident and emergency settings let me tell you the role of patient first and then we will go to the nurse patient you are a 31 year old man or woman you have an excruciating headache on the right side of your forehead and above the ear the headache started two weeks ago two attacks in a week and are accompanied by nausea and dizziness and the pain is so strong and painful 10 out of 10 that you cannot get any work done you work as the marketing director of a large business and work long stress hours the sunlight from your office window and and staring at your computer screen makes the headache much more worse and sometimes even causes ringing in your ears ringling in your ears it is relieved by tylenol or sleeping for one or two hours you have been increasingly stressed at work recently because you are being scheduled with multiple upcoming project or clients you want to get back to work quickly for a meeting so you have to come to the anti accident and emergency to get medication from a doctor or a nurse you don't really care so the patient task is explain uh, your concern about Wanting to leave soon for a meeting, respond to the nurse's question about your symptoms and work, be difficult to convince when the nurse is explaining about the possibility of a migraine, become irritated and uh, ob obstinate about the suggestion of waiting for the doctor as it would waste your time, reluctantly agree to wait for another 30 minutes. Okay, so I hope uh, the question part is clear for you. Let us see the, pay, uh, I mean the nurse roll card. You are speaking to a 31 year old man or woman who is complaining of a severe headache and is demanding medication for pain relief. He or she is clearly distressed and seems to be in a hurry. And let us see the uh, task and how you will manage it. So this is accident and emergency. You don't know the patient name. So you have to ask, uh, you have to start with like an um, introduction. So your tasks are take a relevant history of the patient's condition, inquire about the patient's nature of work, explain your preliminary diagnosis of a migraine, probably, this is a probable diagnosis. Persuade him or her to wait for 30 minutes to see one of the doctor and reassure him or her and explain why it is best to wait and see a doctor. Okay, so let us start. So we will start like this. Good morning, I am Rishmi Rajan, one of the registered nurses working in this accident and emergency unit. How can I address you and how can I help you today? Then the patient will explain uh, regarding the name and the relevant data. So our first task is take a relevant history of the patient's condition. Okay. Then we can present it like that. Uh, so maybe example, the patient name is John. Uh, well, Mr. John, I'm really sorry to hear about your problem, but no need to worry. You are in our safe hand and we are help ready to help you. Uh, before proceeding further, may I ask some relevant data regarding your present condition? Then uh, he will tell, of course, then you can ask, mm, uh, Mr. John, uh, could you please explain me regarding the onset, if there is any triggering factor for your pain and how the severity, um, like severity means um, I just want to know how severe your pain is, like uh, would you mind rating your pain in a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is uh, no pain and 10 is the worst pain ever you had. Then he will tell about the onset, trigger, and uh, 10 out of 10, that is a severity like that. Then next task, uh, anger about the patient's nature of work. Mm, Mr. John, I could uh, truly understand how much pain you are, and I am really sorry to hear about that. And uh, let me ask you something regarding your work condition. I mean, how you are stressed, how you are getting the stress, and uh, how you are managing in your office, or something like that. Uh, then he will explain regarding the work, the nature, the workload, everything. Then explain your preliminary diagnosis of a migraine. Uh, then we can ask, uh, Mr. John, uh, thank you for your kind information about your current condition. Uh, from your conversation, what I could um, uh, finalize that it seems to be like migraine because you told that it's uh, pinpointing only in one side, isn't it? And it's most probably it's a migraine. Uh, then the patient will reluctant to agree for that. And we can tell that, um, Mr. John, I can understand that without um, the doctor's consultation, uh, you could not accept, you could not accept that is a migraine. I know it's a preliminary diagnosis only. This is a, uh, so it's like the, you all symptoms are, it's like seems to be like migraine, but no need to worry. 
um, I just uh, I would like to uh, appoint I, I would like to uh, appoint and schedule for uh, emergency doctor so that he can come and he can analyze you if it is needed he will give you some um, uh, I mean investigations um, or something else and he can conclude your diagnosis no need to worry then he will tell that I don't want to wait for uh, uh, this um, I mean for the appointment I just want some painkillers then you can tell that I'm really sorry to tell you Mr. John this is out of my scope of service to uh, prescribe you some medication of course you have to uh, I mean uh, of course uh, please wait uh, for the doctor's consultation once after the doctor consultation he will prescribe you the um, exact medication so um, I hope that you can um, you can um, uh, understand the uh, I mean what I am telling then the I mean the patient will tell I cannot wait for a long time I have to attend a meeting something like that then you can tell that um, I can truly understand that you are in a hurry uh, time and there is no time for you to wait in the hospital but for your safety I would like to suggest you to wait for an, another half an hour at least for 20 minutes within that time I am assuring you that I will arrange uh, the physician right now all physicians are busy in emergency and um, accident and emergency department so that is the reason behind of this much delay I hope you can uh, understand the situation what is going on inside this hospital then he will tell that please sister please uh, give me some medication so that I will go fast I can understand that you all the doctors are busy um, even though I could not wait here then you can tell that uh, so that is the thing uh, her explain why it is best to wait and see a doctor then you can tell that uh, well mr. John um, so what is the reason I want you to tell to wait for um, at least 20 minute means because still you are feeling the pain and even started two weeks before and you are already in stress so if you continue same like this without medication or any if you take any over-the-counter medication from pharmacy so maybe it will aggravate your problem so you will be I'm sorry to tell you that there may be some chance of complication and even we don't know what is the cause of this um, headache because headache is not a disease condition so this is some it is uh, some of the uh, it is one of the signs and symptoms of many disease condition so uh, really I suggest you to wait for at least 15 minutes uh, to see the doctor I am really assuring you that within 10 minutes I will or within 10 to 15 minutes I will try my best level to get an appointment from the emergency doctor so are you okay with that then they, he will tell okay just if it is 15 minutes means I will wait for a while then you can tell that ah oh, well Mr. John I am glad that you agreed for that um, well uh, let me check if there is any um, slot is available for any doctors so that I can make you an appointment as early as possible so meanwhile you can sit here take a rest and if you need any help uh, please, do not, please do not hesitate to press the call button here I will be right there is it okay here at all it is okay so uh, we can wind up the section with that so I hope uh, it's cleared how the presentation so it is a simple uh, task because only five tasks are there this is a simple one uh, this type of question paper you will get it for the first role play and the second role play which will be somewhat more complicated within time we have to finish it off okay thank you